Okay, so if you haven't heard, um, a judge in California ruled that Uber was going to have to start classifying its drivers as employees. And this morning, that was on Monday, and this morning, August the 12th, 2020, uh, the CEO of Uber, Dara Karavashi, I don't know exactly how to pronounce his last name, sorry about that, uh, told MSNBC in an interview that if they're forced to comply, then they would basically have to shut down Uber temporarily until they could make that transition. The logistics of hiring 10,000 people <laughs> to do all the driving in California is going to be difficult is one of the things that he cited in the interview. And this isn't a debate about whether or not drivers should be full-time, part-time, or anything like that. What it is about is this video is about that statement. And one of the things he said is probably until November that they would have to shut down because he would be waiting for a ruling and, and the law that would pass. Um, and that wouldn't be until November. And that would mean that there would be no ride share from Uber anyway from soon <laughs> until November, like two, two months. That's going to put people out of work. That's going to not allow people to have transportation to and from work or whatever. This is kind of a big deal. So, man, that is pretty wild when you think about it. Kos Rashawi is quoted as saying, If the court does not reconsider, then in California, it's hard to believe we'll be able to switch our model to full-time employment quickly. And one of the things that he explained was that originally when Uber started 10 years ago, it was more like a black car service where you would hire uh, a, a car to take you around and the prices were much higher. And they actually hired the drivers at the time. And they shifted that model to kind of the rideshare model that we have right now over time. And shifting back to that we have to hire people, provide them benefits. Shifting back to that model is not something that they can just kind of do on a dime. So the question is whether or not companies like Lyft would do the same thing, DoorDash, Postmates, all these other companies that have drivers that are basically independent contractors and not employees, how are they going to handle all of this? This is a big ruling. Uber has already lost quite a bit of money this year compared to previous years because of the pandemic and so they don't have as many people riding in cars. Um, Uber Eats has taken off but it's still losing money. What does this mean? What does this mean for Uber? What does this mean for drivers? What does this mean for passengers? We, well California anyway, has a public transportation system that has kind of changed based on the rideshare industry. So people aren't taking buses, they're not taking trains. This is going to greatly impact that because all these people now need a way to get to work. And the way they're going to do that is they're going to flood the buses and they're going to flood the trains. Either that or people are going to start doing this kind of on the side and there aren't going to be any safety measures in place. So I just open this up to you. What do you think about this? Do you think Uber should shut down? Do you think this is kind of a dangerous game of chicken that Uber is playing with the state of California? Let me know what you think, and uh, I will talk to you later. Uh, hopefully this doesn't happen in New York anytime soon, because I'm in a small market. But remember, just because I'm in a small market doesn't mean I need to settle for small profits, and neither do you. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.